for Zamalek here is Castro could be a chance here for Billiard oh off the upright still alive for Mabunda yes he's got that goal he's got it back the one that was wiped off the slate is now back for Tiani Mabunda he opens his account so sweet for the man they call Sugar you're right a major mistake made by Zamalek in their own half credit to Castro who won that ball and started linking up with Kamabilat. Unlucky that he could not convert, denied by the upright. But this man, Tiani Mabunda, was not going to disappoint. <laughs> oh, mistake here! Yeah. Oh my gosh, what happened there? What an absolute nightmare! They've gifted them an equalizer! Suicidal. 
from the keeper as well. Suicidal. Mohamed Ibrahim gets his first goal in the Champions League here. Yeah. And uh, wow, well, it'll be credited to him, but what a bad mistake by Sundowns. An absolute mix up at the back. They would have been warned by the coach to keep oh. their shape and to avoid all these comical oh mistakes. My goodness. Just as I was about to talk about to the coach that would have won, who would have won the players against complacency. And it just creeps in. Well, they could be punished yet still for that. And Langerman can tidy up here now. What was Onyango thinking there? It's so casual. Yeah, that's some good work there from Morsi. Put him under serious pressure. Here's Billiard. Castro to his right. Dolly to his left. Goes left. Billiard. This is good football from Sundowns. What a save from Ahmed El Shanawi. Wonderful save. Great passage of play. Great football all round. Superb stuff. It was combination of Tau linking up with Kigan Dolly. Dolly linking up with uh, Kama Billiard. First touch was great. Unleashed a powerful shot with its uh, left foot, quick step shot, but uh, great goalkeeping. The Sundowns, Pesita who gets a touch, he has great skill from Castro, so unlucky. Oh, that was wonderful stuff, magic stuff from the Colombian. Deserved a goal. But that they could concede at the other end here, Sundowns. Now I have a look at this uh, from Dolly, another promising movie. Billiard is in here! Billiard scores! Billiard is brilliant! Oh, great start from Sundowns again! didn't spot him initially but Langerman's got a chance here inside to Castro Castro oh he should have put that away Look at the space that Castro's got here nice skill initially that's the kind of ball you expect him to finish yeah but look at as best he takes the shot look at his upper body leaning backwards I think that's where he lost the whole plot Yusuf Khaled again now Ali Fati gets the ball across Onyango makes a good stop Anticipated well. That's exactly what happened there. Though every now and then when you start anticipating too much as a goalkeeper. Billiat. Oh, that was goal bound, I fancy. Shinawi put it over the top. I'm not sure whether he, he meant that as a shot or a cross, but uh, either way, it kept the Zamalek goalkeeper on his toes. Villar takes it. Flick on header from Castro. Over the top. It's one thing about him. He's not always really on fire. Um, there are moments whereby he's, he basically goes missing in the game. Now a bit of pressure and a mistake. And Villar with a chance. And Villar forces the save out of El Shinawi. Another good chance for Mamaloni Sundowns to grab the lead. Remember, victory tonight for the South Africans means they will win this group. A bit unlucky, did everything right there. First touch was brilliant, he got rid of the defenders, set himself up perfectly for a decent shot. Great goalkeeping. Billiat. Skills. Uh, Tolba is still looking for Billiat. Langerman, that's goal down, just wide. Now we've got a bit more of a game on our hands. How close was that? And first you have to look at the angle. It's very tight and yet he missed by inches. Got the better of the goalkeeper. And that bounce, of course, didn't help the goalkeeper at all. Oh, the coach uh, just gets a little glare from Shikabala. Why are you taking me off? And now a little bit of a moan there on the... Uh, Bench and a chance for Sundowns! And almost an own goal as well. Maruf 
Yusuf almost turned this into his own net. He got caught there. Tete does well this. Slides through two challenges. Out wide to uh, Kekana. Long range from him. Oh! Just over the top. I wonder if the goalkeeper get a, got that, a touch. Yes, he yeah. did. So it's going to be going for a corner. That was uh, dipping very quickly to the goalkeeper's surprise. Got a good tip over the bar just in time. This is Percy Tao. Ball across for Castro. Own goal! Mamalodi Sundowns take the lead, courtesy of Ali Gaber. Perhaps the best player tonight for Zamalek. How ironic. Wild balls played in the right area, forced defenders to try and play them when they're not properly positioned. This is when you turn the defenders. This is what Tao did. He tried to play it in between the goalkeeper and the defender. Now, Sundowns continue. It's Piliat. It's Piliat. It's a great save. The follow up is over the top from Castro. That's Piliat at his best. Sudden burst of pace, obviously, knitting his way through very tight situation, but with such ease. Before unleashed a powerful shot, the goalkeeper could only pile it up. New signing. Script was there for him. There it is, it's all over. Mamalodi Sundowns with Anke ke café la matla Anke ke Anke ke café la matla Anke ke café la matla Anke ke café la matla Anke ke Anke ke café la matla Anke ke café la matla Que se chama sama sanda wana Anke concentrate and keep uh, this uh, lead and it's a goal 2-0 Zesco in Ireland in the lead Onyango can't believe and it is more well and goes easy my word lack of concentration at the back by Sandals the goalkeeper best was left left wide open there but just that line starts the goalkeeper couldn't react I was talking about uh, Dennis Onyango's frustration and uh, I think it's somewhat also coming through because you can see even that uh, build-up you were hoping he was going to start something uh, from there the 
31 year old uh, goalkeeper for Mamelo Descendants. It's not coming through now. Just now for Zesco Wemi. Brazil one opportunity and uh, that decisive touch making the difference there. And you can see Mope Moelos are waiting to pull the trigger on that position. Excellent work by Mbekile. He might not have been closest to the player, but at least he covered the inside of uh, the game whereby anything that comes his way, he might be first to it, but without even looking what was happening behind him. And he got a perfect touch to the ball. So Ben Adam, he loves to move forward when he is. Zisco Nanda has got an opportunity. Got the opportunity! And the goalkeeper had come on, but he was beaten as Ben Adam Burr had uh, gone for that one. Yeah, I think uh, Dennis allowed that ball to drop a little bit too much. That's why it allowed uh, the defender to come in front of him. Where controls very well. Chance now for Zesco for the third one. Opportunity here. Moment. A good save by Onyango. Second time. And it's ballooned over the bar. Surely it would have been a done and dusted situation. Mwape Muela Tozizi. The former Red Arrows player should have done better. There's a second be said about. Uh, Idrissi Mbombo, who should have done better there, William. Deta dives in here, he's cleaned up by Were. Cleverly cuts it back. He will have been carrying down for Sundowns. He's moving very fast. Dolly. He's not really exploded in this second half. A good pass on the right. Let's see what Downs will do here, Sundowns. Brought in and the opportunity. Billiards and they've scored. So, Mamela de Sundowns get a very important goal this afternoon and nowhere else but Kama Billiards. We did talk about the concentration levels for Zesco in Are and Kama Billiards with that uh, first server probably this afternoon. Alright, and so, after all the business and it's done and dusted here at the 11 one also stay. It's over the head of Chow, straight at the four, great goal. Mamelodi Sundowns have wasted no time in taking the lead, and Anthony Lafour, who was a bit of a joker in terms of his selection, has delivered for Pizzo Mosamani. Five minutes gone on the clock, and Mamelodi Sundowns have the lead. Well, we saw what Anthony Lafour is made of, scoring in the middle. Then he did score as well in midweek to ensure that his team qualified to the MTN8 and he does it once again. Nothing that uh, Jacob Banda could do could stop that ball there because it was quite a cracker. His prowess in terms of taking on defenders is well known. His skills as we've seen there. Now, there he goes again, but uh, Zesco very quickly get numbers back and uh, basically bundle him right off the ball and it's a wonderful shot through. Oh, what an effort. Ball over the top and Yango knew very little about it and just inches away from the all-important uh, away goal, Zesco United. That's what they got to be careful of, that quick counter. That ball was suddenly going in if it was just lower. Here's Billiard. Now looking for Tao, who might get there. Percy Tao, Keegan Dolly, what a save from Banda. Again defensively, Zesco looking a little fragile and Sundowns quickly breaking the shackles. But this is world-class goalkeeping. The four again, Dolly takes over, looking for Biliat. Turning on the skill here, Sundowns. Mabunda will shoot, Mabunda! Against uh, the crossbar, the flag's up for offside. What a remarkable strike from uh, Mabunda. Both sides have struck the woodwork in this uh, first half. Ball from uh, Mabuna looked to bounce out ahead of the line. Now down from Owino. Maybe a shot here from uh, Were. I think fortuitously for Sundowns, that took a bit of a deflection on the way through, and the sting was taken out of the shot, made it a fairly routine save for Nyango. But had it not hit anyone, I think he would have been in real trouble. Now Biliat, good first touch from him, and a great shot as well. On the turn, maybe at the option of Anthony Lafour to his right. And at either end now we've seen uh, further evidence of the fact that uh, this tie is still far from settled. 
Dolly. Tilliat timed his run perfectly. The flag has stayed down. Support from Langerman. Here is Tao with a chance. Tao with a goal. And Mamalodi Sundowns have doubled the lead. And that's a superb finish from young Percy Tao. Brilliant goal, Mamalodi Sundowns. Well, Sundowns really maximizing and exploiting Zesko's flat footedness. You could see the danger always coming in from uh, Kamabili at the brilliance there. He takes the ball back and uh, the pass coming through from Langaman. Pesci Tau is all alone and I don't understand why the central defensive pairing of uh, Ben Barr and of course uh, David Owino are lifting their hands because you should be covering the player. Try to cover up a little bit but Pesci Tau brilliant coming from him. Well, this is a young man who, uh, when Sundowns were making their way to the group phase, was uh, on low down in the National First Division. Oh, yeah. He had the reaction off the bench. Welcome everyone to the African Champions League final here at the Super Stadium, the Lucas Molipe Stadium in Atchisville. Mamalodi Sundowns against Zamalek. It's not often we have as glorious a day as this for South African football. Only four times has a team from this country reached the final of the continent's top club competition. And uh, Mamalodi Sundowns are attempting to become only the second side to win it. Dolly. Through the middle again, that's a better ball, better touch from Billiard. Tao, Dolly's going to try the shot. That's the first one in anger in this game, goes well over the top. It's not like he hasn't scored from that range. The only difference is that he hits this one a little bit higher. And looking at the defense wall, they best gave him the opportunity and they were backing off instead of attacking him. And that basically was the key for him. Good shot from long range, Kakana. Testing the goalkeeper. It's headed towards the back post. Header! Almost a goal! Tabo and Tete. And there was no one sneaking in on the near post to profit from this opportunity. He has the four, he's onside! Oh, what a cracker! What an absolute cracker! Anthony Lafour scores again! And Mamaloni Sundowns have just what they're looking for, the lead. Unbelievable. That is just simply unbelievable. Look at Langman coming on the overlap. Billiat inside to Dolly, to Tao. Tao still. Back to the fall. Now Kakana. Kakana just drills it. Oh, and Ali Gabar has scored an own goal here just a couple of months ago. That must have flashed before his eyes as uh, that goes away for a corner. Here comes the uh, corner. Langerman. Hefner! Goal! To Bojo Langerman! Catches the goalkeeper off his line. Sundowns have doubled the lead. What a goal. <laughs> what a strike. Can we call it that? <laughs> you know for sure, he didn't mean to score in any way. Fan but, well, he might dispute that with you, William, but fantastic strike from oh. Tiboko Langaman. Hefni. Danger time here. Oh! He's put it over the top. Sundowns went to sleep. And Mohamed Solomon knows that was an excellent chance for his side. And I can tell you, it'll take a moment of magic of this nature to actually get the goal. I mean, Sundowns have been solid all round. Sundowns is dominating with possession all the time. Tau once more. Tight angle! Number three! And that will go down as an own goal, but Percy Tau drove it towards goal and it was helped into the back of the net by the Zamalek centre-back Islam Gamal.
that is not Capera this time. Remember, they considered an on goal right in this very crowd. Same goal post, by the way. Looks as if Taufik will take it straight into the wall. Back in again. Chance for Morsi at the back post. Wayne Arnsen almost put that in the back of the net. It's gone for a corner. Now Langerman keeps running. More evidence of uh, his massive contribution today. Here's Modise inside for Tao. Good goalkeeping save. Great block as well. Commitment from Keegan Dolly in these closing stages. Wonderful run from Tao. And obviously the brilliance of Mod Modise comes through here. He needs that ball through the Arvanello. So Musumani saying to him, you should have tracked that ball and then done something with it. I think Sundowns would have bitten your hand off if uh, you had told them before the start of the game that they were going to win this first leg 3-0. Rejected, Zamalek players already coming down the tunnel. Sundowns are out there to greet the fans. They have a big lead for the second leg. 3-0, Sundowns have won here. South African football stands on the brink of one of its finest achievements as Mamelodi Sundowns are strong favourites to win tonight's African Champions League. The top prize on the continent in club football is in the grasp potentially of the side from Pretoria. Led out tonight by Captain Klompo Kekana, Sundowns enjoy a three-goal lead going into the second leg of the final at the Borj El Arab Stadium in Alexandria. Here we stand again, a South African side on the brink of glory. Langerman, this is lovely football again from Sundowns. Tao, Billiat with space, Billiat's going to fancy a strike, Billiat shoots wide a goal. Apologises to his teammates, there were options left or right, but well within his rights with the space opening up in front of him. So there'll be that heavy respect, this is a chance for Oahuchi, wide a goal! That's their best opportunity they've had over the two legs. Yeah, being sliced up in Mamelodi Sundowns there, that middle. That ball rolled a bit too far ahead. He only manages to tore it with the goalkeeper burying in front of him. Now Yusuf. Morsi. Little touch in from Bekile means another corner. And the corner count is beginning to mount now. And Onyango goes down again. Uh, and I wonder how serious it is this time, or is he rather just looking to uh, break up the momentum here? Well, this doesn't look good for Dennis Onyango, and uh, Wayne Sanderlands will finally come on. Gives a little wink to the coach. I've got this, uh, so don't worry. Let's hope that's the case. Now, here is Lafour once more, and he gets possession. And he knocks it long and the chase is on here for Billiat. Still Billiat, lovely skills. Now, Karma Billiat needs a bit of support. Tao's in there. Chance for Tao on the turn. Ganesh makes the save. Back in again and the flag is up. It's brilliant how he holds that uh, line there. I think it's that uh, second ball that basically uh, Karma Billiat. Zamanak would have wanted to test him a lot earlier, but he's gone through 12 minutes already, settling in. Now Hefni with the cross. Little touch in there, opportunity at the back post. Sandy Lands makes a very good save to deny Taufik. This was uh, the chance for Taufik earlier on. Very good save from Sandy Lands. Dolly through the middle, here comes Tao. Look at Lafour on the right-hand side. Tao has options with Biliat as well. Biliat, still Biliat. Gets the shot in, it's the crossbar. Inches away, Mamalodi Sundowns, and the crowd goes silent. Oh, lovely first touch from Billiat. Still Billiat. Still Billiat with the skills. Now Lafour. Lafour, he'll drive it towards goal. And he'll get the corner as well as Ganesh just gets a touch to it. Dolly play the short he has the cross now header wider goal Anthony Lafour again looking dangerous Oahuchi 
This is where he's dangerous, running at the defence. Good strike! Goal! Finally, they broke with the deadlock. Zamalek, after 64 minutes, have the lead. Oh, that's a great strike. That's a wonderful strike. I'm not sure if uh, Sunderland was ready. They got cramped at the same time there, but they want to get him back into action. The Nigerian banged the ball in from outside the penalty area and caught Wayne Sanyalands at the near post. This is better stuff. Here's Biliat. Biliat. Kekana, long range shot. No one following up. Ganesh made the save. Now Shikabala cuts inside, gets the cross in. Good defensive work from Bekile. Excellent header out away from the danger zone. This was the earlier effort from Shikabala. What excellent defending Oof. from Asavela and Bekile. Everything against him in that sense with Bo Morsi breathing down his neck throughout the 90. Oahuchi now. Good turn. Man, this guy's been dangerous. Back post chance! Sumaharu has saved the situation. And Emmanuel Mayuka with his first touch has the ball cleared off the line. How close was this? Header from Mayuka and Sumaharu somehow, somehow just got a boot in. He didn't know much about it. Look there. Bounces off him, off almost off his knees and then is agonizingly close. You've got to feel for the opposing coach. There it is, African champions, Mamaloni Sundowns. What a wonderful victory for the club from Pretoria and for South African football. The winners of the African Champions League come from South Africa. Bitter disappointment for the Zamalekawi. <laughs> of Mamalodi Sundowns collects the African Champions League trophy up it goes in the air Mamalodi Sundowns Continental Kings Champions League winners and they're off to Japan yeah they are champions of Africa for 2016 Mamalodi Sundowns job well done by the South African side and the gold star on its way for the team Ah,